This will be a short how-to video on how to touch up a Wolf Classic Series kitchen cabinet. We have a few defects. We have a gouge, a chip in the edge, and a wear through on the paint. And so we're gonna use the kit to repair those. We're gonna open the kit and remove the items. It comes with a fill stick, a paint pen marker, a clear brush top coat with a brush in the cap and an abrasive pad. The first thing we'll want to do is make sure that the area is level, that we don't have any chips or, or splinters sticking up that could keep us from getting a nice level repair. So we're going to remove these items to the side and we're going to take our fill stick and the fill stick is used by just simply running back and forth and rubbing across the defect until it fills. On the edge here, I'm just gonna run it right on the edge. And once it's filled, I'll stop, set that aside. Then we're gonna come back with just a credit card, a plastic card, and we're gonna scrape off the excess material. If we need to come back and add just a little bit more fill, now's the time to do it. And so we're just gonna add a little more filling there. And again, I'm gonna scrape that excess off. We'll then take the abrasive pad and being careful not to hollow it back out, we'll clean that area off. The next step, we'll take the marker. It has a rattle ball inside, and we're gonna shake this thoroughly. That ensures that we get the paint mixed to the, and that the right color comes out, and also the right sheen. So once we have that shaken, I'm gonna hold the marker straight up and down press the nib down to release, it, release any pressure that might have built up. And then over a piece of cardboard, I am gonna pump the nib and allow the material to flow out. Sometimes these will flow out pretty fast, it depends on the viscosity of the paint. And that's why I like to do it on a piece of cardboard rather than the work surface. So once I get my paint out, then I can use it to wet the nib and then I want to apply small amounts of the paint. For instance, I don't want to mark it, I want to just daub the paint on. And so we'll come in and add the material to it. And that's simply what we do. We allow that to dry four or five minutes, we'll come back and we may add another layer of paint over the top of it. This one looks pretty good. So I think we've done enough. The key to touch up is using small amounts of material to get the best result. So again, we wanna make sure that we agitate this pen thoroughly before we try to use it. And if we do need to add multiple coats, we wanna let it dry slightly between coats before coming back. Now, sometimes this is all we need to do. The repair looks good, we're gonna leave it alone. If we feel like it needs to have a little clear coat over it, maybe it's gonna be in a high wear area, uh, somewhere where we're gonna be handling it quite a bit, we can add some clear coat as protection. And again, it has a rattle ball inside, so we wanna make sure that we stir this material thoroughly with that rattle ball and then again over the piece of cardboard, I'm gonna take and get my brush to uh, the right consistency of material, and then I'm just gonna add a small amount of clear coat over that area. And this just adds another layer of protection to that repair. So once we have that done, our repair should be looking pretty good. 
If it looks a little bit uh, light or dark, let's not judge it until it's completely dry. And then if we have to come back and add more material, we can certainly do that. But as paints dry, sometimes they will darken and sometimes they will lighten depending on the pigments that are used. And that concludes the repair. We wanna make sure that we put the caps back on tightly on all of our products. We return them to the tube where the instruction sheet is and then store those in a cool, dry place.